In this lesson, you will learn about First in Human FIH studies. In Japan, sponsors should not start a clinical trial within 30 days after submission of the first clinical trial notification. During this period, PMDA reviews the Investigational New Drug Data, IND, submitted by the sponsor to ensure the safety when the pharmaceutical agent is administered to humans for the first time. In 2006, a significant accident occurred in a clinical study conducted in England. It is called the TGN1412 case. The pharmaceutical agent is an antibody preparation that binds to a receptor on the cell's surface and activates regulatory T-cells. For the initial human dose of the pharmaceutical agent, 0.1 mg kg, which is 1 500th of 50 mg kg, which is the NOAA-L, as determined by a repeated dose toxicity study in monkeys, was administered as a safe initial dose to healthy individuals. As a result, massive cytokines were released from the immune cells into the blood, and serious side effects such as fever, pain, anaphylaxis, and multiple organ dysfunction developed in humans to whom it was administered. This picture shows a case of necrosis of the fingertips due to massive cytokine release. Following that case, Guidance for the determination of the initial dose of pharmaceutical agents in first-in-human studies has been issued in Japan as well. The methods for determination of initial doses are almost the same in the US, EU and Japan. This shows a summary of the methods for determination of the initial dose in FIH studies shown in the guidance for initial doses in Japan. First, the pharmaceutical agent is investigated for any obvious risk. If the drug has any obvious risks, pharmacological approaches are used for determination of the initial dose. In case of low risk, toxicological approaches are used. This slide specifically shows obvious risks of a pharmaceutical agent. Obvious risks refer to drugs with any of these properties. No information about the target molecules. The target molecule activates, blocks multiple signal transduction pathways. The target molecule is widely expressed. The pharmacological action may develop beyond the ability of a host. This shows a method for determination of first-in-human doses based on the NOAA-Ls. If you determine a safe human dose based on the NOAA-L, obtained by a toxicity study in animals, the NOAA-L must be adjusted for the human level. Allometric scale, PK factors, taking the difference in blood concentrations or protein binding into account, conversion to human equivalent dose, HED and safety factors are used for such an adjustment. HED is frequently used for determination of the initial human dose based on the NOAA-L from animal studies. With this method, the human equivalent dose is calculated by conversion factors considering the difference in body surface area between humans and the animals. In general, the initial human dose is determined by considering the value calculated with this formula and a safety margin. This method is often used for drugs that are administered into the blood vessels. Among the pharmacological approaches, the Mabel approach is frequently used. The minimal pharmacological level obtained from the pharmacological data, such as receptor occupancy, effect on target human tissue and in vitro and in vivo animal models is called MABEL. Based on MABEL, the dose range showing the minimal efficacy is determined by the estimated blood levels of the pharmaceutical agent in humans. 
The doses within the range are considered as the starting doses in FIH trials. If there are any concerns about adjusting models showing pharmacological effects to humans, a safety margin may be considered for Mabel.